Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Liberable. Welcome to a new video here on Liberable. Um, BMW M240i launch. Let's see what this car can do. No to 100. I'm incredibly excited I have this car on test. It has disappointed me in certain areas which you'll find out later on in the video. Um, very nice car but I don't like full drive cars so I'm disappointed that you can't get a six cylinder rear wheel drive BMW anymore at a good price so you have to buy an M car so we'll put more on that later let's do a launch so sport sport plus sport mode on the gearbox trash control sport dynamic trash control activated am I do I have launch control now don't have launch okay do have launch control nice so let's see what is what here seconds <laughs> hi everybody and welcome to Rav Adventures we are the manufacturers of these awesome mobile kitchens basically for all your off-road trips they come fully equipped 23 kgs if you need any other information, please follow the link below. Follow us on Facebook. Thank you. design of BMW's M240i uh, probably the most controversial part about this car do I like the design no um, it's different and I'm not too like ecstatic about the way this car looks some is gonna love it some is gonna hate it I'm just in the category that's just not too sure about it yet maybe give me so a month or two and let me see how I feel First BMW with a power bulge, this was only reserved for M cars, this is now an M240i but you've got the single headlight, a uh, homage to the BMW 2002, small grills, not the big ugly ones and just a lot of triangles and stuff here in front of the car. My producer who's behind the camera really likes the way this thing looks, um, I think maybe his eyes aren't working too well but I, I'm not a fan of here, if you come along the side of the car you see like these bulges here and another bulge there in front and this nice line here over there I don't think you'll see this color too well in white sorry this car won't look too good in white but this uh, Thunder Knight metallic does suit it a little bit more in badging over there your 225 14 19 inch in bespoke wheels big brakes up in front and at the back and an even more controversial part the rear end of the car um, I see a bit of 2002 going on here, we're being attacked by flies, so forgive us for the shaky camera and also uh, nervous me by doing that the whole time. Fake tailpipes, but I'll forgive it because the real one is the inside and I get why they do this, they try and reserve the best stuff for the uh, Husemenso for the BMW M car. 
So that's a quick tour on the outside and my quick feelings about it. No, I'm not a big fan of this car. I hope it grows on me. Um, the old M car was a handsome M2, M240i, but this is a little bit more controversial. Uh, let's hop around the wheel and see how it drives. M240i, what is a score like to drive? So I've got the suspension in comfort mode and steering wheel also in comfort mode. If the steering wheel is in the heavier mode, it feels very artificially heavy. Um, and it sounds fantastic. 285 kilowatt from its B58 engine and 500 newton meters of torque. Going through an 8 speed ZF transmission with all wheel drive. And that's where a bit of my problem start with the M240. Well, when I say problems, I don't mean much problems, just more on the pricing and stuff like that, but I'll explain more now in a bit. But let's start quickly with a few problems that I have and I'm gonna bring it up with the all-wheel drive system. In the past you could get a BMW M240i with rear-wheel drive which is the BMW not all-wheel drive right at a good price. Now your only way into a BMW is via an M car. When I say BMW, I mean a rear-wheel drive BMW, I mean an M car because that you can select fully rear-wheel drive. This you can't, although it is rear-wheel drive biased, it's still an all-wheel drive system. That means its braking point is far higher than what it would have been if it was rear-wheel drive. The only other option now you have is 220i and 220d, but that's not a straight six. Traditionally, the straight six engine goes to the rear wheels in a BMW. Now, even the two series, which is based on the three series, is all wheel drive. Have a, mm, I do have a problem with that. I I feel as though if this car was rear wheel drive, the price could have been a, maybe a bit cheaper because there's not much hardware to go into the car. Damn. But there's no denying the out of the whole grant that this thing has. I mean, Audi in the past was king, or still is king. And RS3 has become so fast now to the point that not even GTRs, not even supercars can touch the damn thing. So BMW had to keep up. And by making this 2 Series all-wheel drive, it has become a weapon to behold. I mean, mods on here, ladies and gentlemen, and that's a 10 second car. This B58 can make power like a 2JZ. This is the answer to the 2JZ, a lot of petal heads have been waiting for. Closed deck block, beautiful valve train, lovely revs. I mean, we're sitting with a proper power, power monster here. 
Now, I drove this car first and now, tomorrow, I'm going to climb into an old M240i with the B58 and see how that car feels. BMW M240i, but the older generation. This car is owned by Fricky. I will link his Instagram and stuff all down in the description box below. I just want to say thank you to him so much for allowing me to drive this car today, right after the BMW, the new M240i. So I'm already sitting a lot more comfortable than I, than I am in the other car, which is quite surprising to me. I didn't expect to be more comfortable. I think the steering wheel is also a bit more, is better, uh, uh, um, how would one say? It's thinner so I can hold the steering wheel better, but it's still got that over assisted feeling which that car has. So on turning, it's very aggressive. But um, I'm curious to see how this car performs like now as we come out into the, into the um, open road a bit. www.loverrebel.co.za it's gonna be amazing! Subscribe now! I'm more comfortable than I am in the other car, as I've said. Still Harman Kardon sound, but I love the layout. It's a bit more like, I feel a bit more connected to the car. So yeah, I'm gonna toggle the switch to sport mode. And just hear what the sport plus. We'll go manual mode again. I must say this car is fitted with a M-Performance exhaust and M-Performance intake system. Oh wow! Oh god, this 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 is what you call cracking and pops. Left here, Mr. Fricky? Left. <laughs> what? I didn't know this! Interesting. I think the new car is being smothered by regulation and that's what's causing the car feel a bit more sterile but what I can already feel here is less traction not that all-wheel drive thing nannying me the whole time I already feel like I'm in control of the car like there's a sense of movement underneath me oh I can't wait to open the taps up here but Right, ladies and gentlemen, a bit more open the road now. We're gonna open up the taps a bit, but I put my foot down now off camera and the rear end just rotates on you. So easy. Split, by the way, I drove the other 240 all the way here to come drive this car today. And wow, nice, nice. The rear end just loosens up a 
on you and squiggles away out of the line. This is what a BMW must feel like. So let's conclude this video with the two different BMW M240i's. I definitely still prefer rear wheel drive and although this car masks its weight really well, it being 200 kilos heavier than the older car, I can feel the weight. I know it masks it well around corners and stuff, but climbing from the one car and into the other car, there's a huge difference. The, the other car feels so much more agile so much more lighter on its feet so much more eager whereas the planted feeling of this car makes it feel like a lot more makes it feel like a 3 series at over 1 million rand it is very expensive indeed you get the M performance mirrors and a bulge on the bonnet it's a crap ton of money does it feel that much money? yes the all wheel drive system coupled with this interior, coupled with the B58, it feels like an expensive car. Um, styling is controversial to say the least, I'm not a fan, but I think it's going to grow on people, don't know if it's going to grow on me. Hold on to your rear wheel drive M240i, it's a fantastic car if you have a 235, a 135, a 335 rear wheel drive, enjoy your cars, that time is officially over. B3BU, Liberable. Out.